Okay, so you worked really hard. Now it's time to stretch. Now this stretch can be used after any kind of workout that you do, whether it's one of these posted here, or if it's another one that you do, maybe you go out and play basketball or you're playing baseball or whatever, you're running around the neighborhood, you're riding your bike, whatever. If you just need a good stretch, this is a really good thing to do. So what we're gonna do, first thing is we're gonna st stretch out our quadriceps. So your quadriceps are right here in the front. So your upper thigh area, that's what a quadricep is. These are really important to stretch and strengthen because they give you a big boost of power when you're running. If you've ever run on cold legs, and tried to run really fast, you might have noticed that it felt like, kind of like they were tearing. It's because they're not stretched. So, what you wanna do is you're gonna come up and you're just gonna hold it behind you. So your left foot would be in your left hand or your right foot in your right hand, whatever. Now, if you're losing your balance, get a chair or, you know, um, whatever. Like, this is a wall right here. You could use a wall if, or you can hold your ear and that is supposed to help you balance, okay? I have pretty decent balance, but you might have balance better on one side than the other. I balance better on my right foot than my left foot, all right? See, it takes a little bit of time. You can actually balance just by putting your hand out, or again, you can do your ear, whatever. So really just think about stretching that back. And from the side, looks like this, all right? So you're still kind of standing up straight, keeping your chest up, all right? Now we're gonna stretch your hamstrings. So what are your hamstrings? Well, the hamstrings are right behind your quadriceps. So you're gonna step one foot out, and then you're just gonna bend down. You're gonna take your hands and put them on the opposite leg, and you should feel a stretch all up the back of your leg, all right? So you just wanna be there for just a few seconds, all right? So really feel it if you need to bend over a little bit more to feel it. That's good. It does feel good to stretch. It's a really great way to just end a workout or end your day. Okay, switch sides. So now the other foot, it's just that front heel. And then you're gonna just press right into it. Good job. So again, from the side, looks like this. All right, so I'm just bent over really feeling it right here. Okay. All right, come up. Now we're going to stretch your upper back. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your arms, you're going to bring them out in front of you. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cross one over the other and then put them together. And then you're just going to kind of round forward like this. What you should be feeling is your upper back really stretching. And again, you're kind of holding those abs in, but really, really feeling that upper back. Okay. All right. All right, bring it down, release. Next is for your shoulders. You're gonna bring one arm across the chest, and then you're gonna come up underneath it, and you're gonna feel your shoulder stretch out right here. Shoulder stretching, super important for you baseball players. You're using your shoulder a lot, especially in your throwing arm. So you wanna make sure that you take care of it so that you can play baseball for years to come, right? Shoulder injuries are common in the baseball world, so keep them healthy by making sure you're stretching them. All right, all right, release that, and now bring the other side. All right, and sometimes you might notice that you have one side of your body that is a little tighter and harder to stretch than the other. That's pretty normal, depending on what hand you use the most often. A lot of times we favor one side or the other. If you're right-handed, you often favor your right side and that sort of thing, okay? All right, release. Now we're gonna do triceps. So tricep, you're gonna take your arm up and then bend and then bring the opposite and just push down on that. So you're feeling your triceps, the back of your arm, okay? It's really important to stretch that out too because that's just an area that's kind of forgotten sometimes. It's not one we think about working a lot. Okay. All right, and then we 
switch sides. So then just bring your other one back. All right, so from, so open up from the side, it looks like that. Just gentle pressure. You don't wanna like press down on it too hard, but just get enough so that you're getting a good solid stretch. Okay, a couple more seconds here. All right, and now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your, just take your feet a little bit apart, a little wider than your shoulders, okay? So you can see they're out. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna stretch over. You wanna reach this, this other arm down. This is gonna stretch out your side, which is really good with the workout. If you did the cardio core workout with all the core work, you really gotta stretch those sides out. So again, really good for you baseball players since you're using your core muscles a lot. All right, come up side and again you might have one side that it's a little easier to stretch over than the other that's okay and typically now this isn't always true boys might not be quite as flexible that's okay you just keep working on it some of you might be super flexible though and you're younger so you know you don't have all the kinks that the older people do all right then you come up now we're just going to do a wide-legged stretch, so you're just going to bend down, and if you can, come all the way down and put your hands on the floor, all right? And then just kind of lean forward a little bit, not so far that you bend over or that you fall over, but just a little bit. That's going to stretch, again, the back of your legs, all right? And now we're gonna do one, now come up. We're gonna do one last series of stretches. So you're gonna lay down, lay back. You're gonna cross one, your right foot over your left knee, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring that left foot up and you're gonna grab behind that left leg, okay? And then you're just gonna pull it towards you so you feel a really nice stretch on the side of your body, like your hips and all that kind of stuff. All right, so just hold that there for a little bit. And if you can't pull your leg up, it's okay to just keep it down. You should still get a good stretch that way. But if you can, pull it up. All right, set that left foot down and then just switch sides. So this time your left foot's over your right and you're bringing it up. All right, because that's an area, this area right here is an area that can get tight a lot of times with running, all those things that you guys, you active boys are doing all the time. All right. Oh, I'm hearing my kids fight. Awesome. All right. That is going to conclude our stretch. You can obviously do this stretching workout anytime after any type of, of activity that you do. If your body's feeling a little bit sore, um, but it's always good to stretch. Even if you don't do this full stretch every time, just stretch out a little bit after every time you work out. And then you will have less muscle soreness, which is really important for you growing boys. The other thing that I wanted to touch on is your nutrition. Make sure that you're drinking enough water, and that you're really making sure that you're getting fruits and vegetables and protein, all of those things are super important for you. So I know that everybody likes treats, but, and that's fine, but make sure that you're loading up on other really good sources of nutrition so that you can stay healthy, not just for baseball season, but for everything else that's going on right now. So thanks again for joining me and I will see you soon.